Yeah.
opportunity he has given to us, the life and the peace he has granted to us. Let's pray to God and offer our gratitude to God for his grace this morning. Let's thank God that you continue giving us great leaders of our church. From the top of our head of his down to the congregation. God continue giving us. He keeps giving us great leaders. He provides for his church. He has been with church for so many years now. He hasn't left us. And so let's thank God for that. Let's thank God for today, the opportunity to worship him and to induct a leader as a presidential person. This is a great opportunity God has given to us. We are privileged as presbytery to have the head of our church and the leadership of our great church. And so let's thank God for that. Almighty God and everlasting Father, who has established your church upon the earth and has given unto your servant grace by the confession of their faith to acknowledge your eternal glory. Lead us by your Holy Spirit to a right understanding of your most holy worship. Grant us to be joined together in unity of spirit that we may be made manifest as your own people, a royal priesthood and a holy nation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yet we confess, Holy Lord, that we fall short of your glory. We have received without gratitude so many gifts from you. We have often murmured over the burdens you have laid upon us. We have doubted your love and have been unfaithful to the vows made to you. We have wasted our strength on vain pursuits and have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. O oh Lord, be merciful to us, your wayward children. Forgive us. We beseech you, and let your saving word, once heard on earth, be renewed from heaven. Your sins are forgiven. Cast us not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. As true disciples, may we, like our Lord, free welcome the toils and sufferings of our humanity, May you do every work as unto you and always rejoice in the multitude of your benefits. Fill us with patient love for others and make us ready to help and quick to forgive. Hear us, O Lord, as we rest on you. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as we in heaven. Give us this day the regret. Forgive us our trespasses 
as he forgave those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. Nine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The choir will give us an
Our first Bible reading is taken from Exodus chapter 20. I'm reading from verse 1 to 4, continuing from 7 to 9, and finally 12 to 20. Exodus chapter 20, 1 to 4, 7 to 9, and 12 to 20. Let's listen to the word of God. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male servant or his female servant or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbor's. Now when all the people saw the thunder and the flashes of lightning, and the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, the people were afraid and trembled and they stood far off and said to Moses, you speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us lest we die. The word of the Lord. We take our second lesson from Philippians chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 4 to 14. Philippians 3, 4 to 14. Though I myself have risen for confidence in the flesh also, if anyone else thinks he has risen for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as for zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ. And be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God that depends on faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection, and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this, or I am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Our third Bible reading is taken from Matthew chapter 21, verse 33 to 46. Matthew 21, 33 to 46. Let's hear the word of God. Hear another parable. 
there was a master of a house who planted a vineyard and put a fence round it and dug a wine press in it and built a tower and leased it to tenants and went into another country. When the season for fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to get his fruit. And the tenants took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent another servant more than at first, and they did the same to them. Finally, he sent his own, he sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, this is the hair, this is the hair, come, let us kill him and have his inheritance. And they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those rejects to a miserable death and let out the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the fruits in their season. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people producing its fruits. And the one who f falls on this stone will be broken to pieces. And when it falls on anyone, it will crush him. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was speaking about them. And although they were seeking to arrest him, they feared the crowds because they held him to be a prophet. Here is the reading. Pamto, I can kind some a tossumi and sano. Making can free, making can it recassum. Now making can free as some pano. Said they met you a trauma. See, I do no back home. Teach him where we are Sammy and Sanko see a Dianensia. As some pano. Said they met you a trauma. See, I do no back home. Teach him where we are Sammy and Sanko see a Dianensia. Pamto making kind. Muntia a beffle fro. A fool will be a wah. Wa ye bo be true. Na wa ye hu bain shiai. No wo tu mu n se chia mana. No wa tu abantin tin. Na wa de she wa de she ashe so fu bin sa. Na wo ja hoko baby. Ne du ya ba bre dri no. O suman en kwa kwa ahe so fu no nche se. On kwa ji ne du ya bamra. Na ahe so fu no ta ne kwa no. Na wa shi bi. Na wo kumbi. Na wo si bi abo. Bio or Sman Quaffle Frau or Dorsu Sinning Akani Diano, now so I want Sarah, Nature you or Sman the Bako and Chen say, or Beth Ferry Meba, now so I have so for no moon or banner no, or Kakawo must say, We knew a did for no, Mumra my young Kuno, none a Japa dear and your dear, nor of a no chain of free Bobetro no moon, Kokumuno, ain't see a double betro run of a banner, a dear and our bayer I have so for no. Or catch her and say, Or best say any pabon and no passa. Now, what you will no ama, here so forth for fra, or dear, you have a bread and librim. Yes, you say no one say, Monkey can't train seven moon pain say, or boar bantle for a porno, and no one are bayer or down the tree as well, Tibo. Ye fre radi, nay, and one way ain't any so. Ye ain't him a summer say, Or bed you and your cupa hindi no free, mon some day. A comma or my hour demo, Edria Babeba. Nadia Obeshe, 
obehwe obo wa isu ono ni mu bebubu na de ebehwe ne so ono ebepeche no na asofo mpanimfo ne frasifo no te ni mebu ono ohunu se won ho asem na oka na ohwe se okire no nanso na wo suro nkrofo akuaku no ifi se na ogu ni se odifo awrade asem Beloved in the Lord, the officiating minister at the induction service today is the moderator of the General Assembly, and he will also preach the sermon to us this morning. We will stand to sing Presbyterian Hymn 331, the first three stanzas.
Lord your mountains. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I bring you special greetings from the General Assembly Council of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. But in check a CA free General Assembly Council Hall at the Bremen in a section of four more to say. And then, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, Ah, would be a Jimmy in Fienum, I shall ready any more yam. Amen. My anchor text is a very strange text from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, and verse 50. Matthew 26, verse 50. And it reads, But Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? But Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Now, there are so many um, different translations that give different meanings to this particular text. That is why I said it's a very strange text. You are a Now, yes, I can say, Danfo, Another way of translating the same text too is The same text, the same arrangement of, of words. And so in English, a translation says, Friend, do what you came here to do. It's so interesting. I want to choose the one that is very common that says, Danfo, Ubaha, Ebeyede. Danfo, Ubaha, Ebeyede. Then you know, you say, Jesus, no, you're sure for no. I could get Simeon, I'm a bomb pie. Get Simeon, it's true, Jesus, be sure I won't bomb pie, and you're bringing yourself for no. Eda. Your Chief priest, no soldier for a buy, a soft one paying for no soldier for no buy. On mobile, no, say now, good as a catch, no, almost say, near my friend, no, no, one, no. Now, the woman is said, one guy said, now, the answer. They told me, no, not electricity, New York. Are the answer. And I want to make us electricity one, and they are all doomed so, then you're doomed so. Can you be electricity, New York? And can you get a good time? Will be answered, sir, at a little sacas of. And he said, Oh, be our Ben or no anchor, oh, yeah, oh, talk of Fina, no, and I almost showed him. Now, bra, or Ben or no, and I just as catch her and say, Downfall, oh, by her, every day. And then I somehow you do it to your own for no, sir. Papa Sam first aquati. Ubaha Ebe Yeti. There are different types of people with different aims in life. There are people who are aimless. Hey, Ubiya Hibiasi Oba won't 
Watim na dia chi na dia sa na dia chi na dia sa. Enti kana hasi. O peni pa be bread di wacha ebi biya obi nya. Ko ebi wa watiwa onye fi. Tu ka chobo e no dia chi chobo e. O man five five o man wey five. O be kwa wey nya o five kwa ba o be sorry di wachi sisi ya. There are people who are aimless in life. There are also people who just are in this world to seek social glory. Social glory. Social glory no be in your body, dear. But the end of my young woman said, Oh, honey, not Jenny will be asking you, and said, Or she said, No man, you know, who are when you're ye, and I may yano. Yes, I be any. Because, oh, 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 Ye beka se onu na oye in charge onu na okuta tumi onu na okuta and obi oha de ohwe wi ase anu etimi ya me nwonwa na power no ebi oha e ya physical ebi oha e ya intellectual ebi oha e psychological ha physical obi oha no mo a woni ni share border or say wo me ka me ka me ho a ma ba ba attack you since last year, and I attack you. Whoop, whoop, was my attack you. Hey, that's your womb. Or was our child said, Oh, no, no, oh, yeah, powerful. And we are president of that country, so I was a deep piano. I am mobile. I am mobile. To a Ukraine, I quite attack Russia. Then we said, Oh, he may have his reasons, but to him, you know, I'll show the whole world they say, Oh, yeah, powerful. Maybe I see uh yeah one and you know I will show us how there were other countries in America, no one was able to show some more you're powerful. The China force is boom, so show some more you're powerful. A boy who cried, I could I kitty how I won't with you. I was all shows that were you're powerful. Yeah, yeah, and they say we are only power, be an opposite shows where you're powerful. Near the end of the air, yeah. And then a bit of what? If you are by any not green, you know, and say, Yeah, back I said, no more fit. It's in the sick and you know, and the sick and you know, what a talk at the end of one on the body. And then he said, 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 And then Tina, I had the Bia may call a reaction on me too far. Mita Catre, a man, and said, A man who offered a Bia on the age, then the level. You were thirty years if one who offered, twenty years if one who offered, thirty years if four dear, forty years if four dear, fifty years if four dear, sixty years if four dear, seventy four dear, you were ninety and a hundred the crowd so dear. And then near who is that a whole face, I know. I have one green book. I can find mommy. Because we are obeying the eye to say, "No, mommy." It is a mommy that who does so your fed here. Now what now? The person can say, "I'm not here now." Now, and who here? And who here? Cross. We are on over this system. No, obey here. No, to say we did twenty. Who has our breakfast? Or as I said, we do not be at the sixty years level. I know you are one. You don't know at fifty years level. You are the don't know at forty years level. We have not named the cramp. We do not have. We are still by. So what do you mean? It's a beauty. Ah, we are there. We will be very fat. You know. See, I don't know. Brown pizza. I know. We are on the swag. Idiana said, Obey shows a Usica. 
C'est quand on voit pas. Bah ouais, on est quand on va moi, ni pas. On va moi, alors dire du mal. On va moi, et ni pas maman ce soir ni hier. Hier. En là, on dit que c'est mute money, mute money. C'est quand un timing cas ça, mute money. But one of the most important things is that you will live in this world with eternal values in mind. And let the eternal values affect everything that you do. Your social life, your psychological life, your spiritual life, and so on. That that should be that should be a bit free heart. If we have a baby, pack up. Sad dinner, sad dinner. And don't I affect it even the way I will handle sika. I affect it the way I will nanti. I affect it the way I will yell normal in your now. The chief aim of man is to glorify God. But I realized that in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, God gives what I have called the first commission. In Genesis 1, 28 and 215. Genesis 128 says that God blessed them and God said, Be fruitful and multiply. In Genesis 215, then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend it and to keep it. Or as another translation says, to cultivate and to guard it. So these are two major commissions of human existence on earth. How do we combine the Westminster Commission co uh, confession with these two texts? It means for me that we must glorify God through bearing fruit, through multiplying, and through keeping and managing the earth. We must glorify God through bearing fruit. For me, it's very important that you read Genesis chapters 1 and 2, which is a pre-fall account, as the way God intended things to be. Chapter 3, I could see Revelation chapter 20, you know, here I know I'm managing, I know I'm managing. How God intended us to be. And so when God created us, he said, be fruitful and multiply. And so when I ask the question, you have a reality to be fruitful, and multiply. You have a ministry move to be fruitful and multiply. You have a ready move to be fruitful and multiply. So you eat Saturday if you want more, we will have problems. Here, we are saying you buy, you know. So, who are called a crown as a corano? Who has practiced by the time I'll be two years now or ninety, and I'll be one or we are now on we are now young shisho on on bare fruit, the fruit of a proper fruit, fruit of a one year old. You must bear fruit of a one year old, fruit of a two year old, and so on and so forth. So we don't need any party, not on swaba, eh? Because the uncle Pong Bob, we be as a bear, a vessel abba, no crisis. And to what the Abba has a young swaba. I did not quite, eh? Yeah, we are seeing a wrong understanding of humility. So a wrong understanding of humility, then it is a Obia, we don't have a better baby, or on Fanny Sanka, on Fanny Nanka. And other than any effort, no what you have. No more essay. Nakupon wa moyen sa. O boyen sa, yen swabba. Be fruitful and multiply. John chapter 15, verse 8, links up divine glory with fruit bearing. When it says, By this my father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. And we always say this during the ordination. That is to say, God is glorified when we bear fruit. Jesus also says in John chapter 15, verse 6, that you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear much fruit, and that your fruit should abide. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he, <coughs> excuse me, he may give you. So, fruit bearing is so, so, so important to Jesus. So important to God. I want to submit that when Jesus came and he spent time talking about bearing fruit, he was just carrying the mind of Yahweh from Genesis 1 and 2. And so at any point in time, 
All of us will have to ask ourselves, are we bearing any fruit? Are we bearing any fruit? Bearing fruit is by reproducing one's kind. And we bear fruit in our faith by reproducing Jesus' moral character or God's moral character because God created us. <coughs> God created us in his image. We also bear fruit by growing the kingdom of God. Somebody must be committed to kingdom business. One reason why some of us become full-time in ministry is because kingdom business is so important that God wants some people to leave everything and just do it. So even as we spend time spiritually and morally to bear fruit, we must also intentionally do God's work. Spend time doing God's work. We also bear fruit by discipling, by church growth. And that is why Vision 1.5 has been very important to us. We also bear fruit by adding value to our communities. We are in, third world, in a third world country. At one point, we moved from third world to lower middle world and we have come back to the world. Then we can our hand say baby I you feel yet to me yet a sorry to say you call which are brought for your master say oh mono car obi I want you audi obi I want you on them if you have been tea a bay away at near the and it's who can social development wants them infrastructure development wants them on the crown once I say no day you know Africa and then see, when to me, I may a penny, I was a fumo, penny, or gun, no, I say, we know, I'm sorry, now we call only only improve society, you know, you don't develop anything. You're going to have a problem, no, but by a day. It's just a madam, the damn, oh, by a day. And so, Mamma, may I not die, hold that. Sir, as if, sir, your ministry you know, is only spiritual. Oh, any any continent, Australia, oh, Africa, had the air, oh, Africa, ha. Hey, I come to Nipa. Your schools say, your clinics say, I say to me, I be a bit improve community, you know, and now, sir, and now, sir. We got to make more disciples, even as we bear fruit. Then there's also glorifying God by keeping and managing the earth. You know, the Rebecca one cemetery. Currently, the things that occupy the mind of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana include the vision 1.5. But then the general vision of our church is to be a Christ-centered, self-sustaining, and a growing church. Almost every time, I always will go back and read it. Because me catch them, me say. So we better query me and unquery me on the vision of the church. To be a Christ-centered, self-sustaining. That one we really meant financial self-sustaining, sustainability, and a growing church. And I want to put it to you, Papa Foster, that you keep this vision of the church in mind. And that is this is what we have expressed in the four major thematic areas of the church which is the spiritual witness, the moral witness, the social witness, and the environmental witness of the church. As I look through the constitution of our church, I realize that your job description as February chairperson is spiritual, pastoral, and administrative head of this whole presbytery called presbytery. You have to be committed to extending the kingdom of Jesus here in this presbytery. You have to strengthen the voice and presence of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana also. Obi Jesus Power, but I'm not sorry, no sir. 
who they as chair person, who now your first chair leader of Jesus and the Presbyterian Church of Ghana in this presbytery. Do Jesus, not do Asafu, not a friend of Presbyterian Church of Ghana. And grow the church, grow the kingdom, grow the church. You also have to make sure that you protect and manage the properties of the Presbyterian of Ghana in this presbytery as the trustee here. And if you and then you really acquire properties that will have, including uh, Maracas, I was a funny name, I shall one sack. Maracas back home, you need to be in the back with Tipper, it be busa. And if you have any her properties, you need to manage it, you need to You'll be chairing a lot of meetings as private chairperson. So we need a chairperson to chair, we chair meetings there, and you're normal. And then you have to seek the welfare of all agents and church members and take care of everything Presbyterian in this presbytery. And I do believe that we have talked during the orientation, we talked a lot about these things, and the strategic plan of the church also lays these things out. You are coming to become a Presbytery chairperson in the Central Presbytery, which is the 14th Presbytery created on Sunday, 28th September 2003, when Papa Sam Prempe was the moderator. The Presbytery was started with 12 districts, and now it has 20 districts, namely Mampong, Efigasi, Insuta, Aguna, Yamwasi, Kumewu. A table. Me can a table. I don't know when me free her. I'm not moving from a table. I have a bed. I can a table. Jamasi. Saku. Saje Dumasi. Edra Yeji. Benim. Kwame Dansu. I hope it's all my Kwame Yeji. Abasi, Drabin, Mampon South, Efigasi West, Kwame, Banko, and Mampon North. So it over by 20 districts, and I had the Ebe Shewonsa. Please grow the presbytery. This presbytery politically covers Ashanti and part of Buno East regions of the Republic of Ghana. There were two regions. You have had four chairpersons so far who have gone ahead of you. And I'm thinking of the Reverend Thomas Boachi, Reverend Stephen Osei Sapo, Reverend Ernest Odame Asari, and Reverend Dr. Daniel Osei Bediakon Akutu. You are going to stand on the shoulders of these great people. Please always recognize and respect them. Recognize their achievements, particularly who you do be a private chairperson of a new presbytery. That's a presbytery edge now after 20 years. No, they can't know I had their power. When the presbytery was started, we had 20,015 people in this presbytery. Now, by God's grace, it has risen to 57,470 as of. September 2023, showing an increase of 37,455, which represents 187.14 percentage growth over the 20 years. We are grateful to God for all the great achievements that the Prebitry has made. This is the Prebitry that we are going to hand over to you today, Papa Sam Foster Kwachi. I want to beg you, because for the sake of fruit bearing, keep these numbers in your, in your head, the number of districts, the number of congregations, the number of preaching points, and so on, and, and um, your statistics. I don't know what they are throwing in our ball. I feel I don't want to say what I want. What's so bad? So if you know, actually, now one so bad, I mean, they don't want to come back. Because if you don't want to hear, you know, and you're broke, I can say it. Agro, 
telefone. Agora ele formou. Mas não acaba a vaca se ela de social econômico. This is no cosso. A vaca não vai na Rússia e Ucrânia. Wow. Let us please appreciate the whole concept of bearing fruit as if it's like our first commission. God said we should be fruitful and multiply. If at any point in time we are not bearing fruit in the kind of work that God has given to us, we have to stop and reconsider that kind of calling. After two years, I had my mistake. I'm calling me. I'm going to be for a minute. Because I'm going to commend him. Because the people are relying on you. So now you are going to have all these 57,470 people looking up to you. They are trusting that with the vision, I'm going to be for a minute. I pray to God Almighty that he himself will empower you and strengthen you that during your tenure, no? during your tenure, the Lord will raise the prebytery up onto another level. So our expectations include one, that you will grow this prebytery in all aspects. All aspects. Spiritually, church grossly, schoolly, clinicsly, everythingly, empowermently, Good family life, every, every aspect. Infrastructure development, everything. And as I've said earlier, we expect that you will recognize and appreciate what others have done ahead of you. And number three, I've said that a grown it from basin there will be anti mean kind of bro for entertainment. It is your castle plane is on the ground. I know me call Presby University. I me call Kaza. I grow new form. I'm with us in the program for the day. Professor for running in our town almost three. And I'm getting the plane is on the ground. And see, we still be brave. We still pa. Me the, I dey back home. Me who are dreaming in the moon. We say it wouldn't matter what I say is in the church or wherever. We not just dream. We say maye. We ready more. Me na me nya. We not feel na be dreaming. We nya new year. No money at the end. Every year, assess yourself. And make sure that you are moving forward to the glory of God. You cannot let anything Presbyterian deteriorate during your tenure. Three, Kasa Bise, Abebu Bise, say, when you have to be part of the Mawasia, Omanukrono, don't let anything deteriorate in this Presbytery. Maybe be an Konenim. The population, the number of congregations, preaching points, schools, health facilities, scholarships for students, attention for news G, JY, children's service, all groups, they all must grow. As I said, I challenge you to account for your growth at the end of your tenure of five years. I grow and reform. Our confidence is that the Lord who has called you will empower you and he will be with you. For it is he who said, and lo, I am with you always. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Whether we feel it or not, does not matter. He said, lo, I am with you always. Whether we are thinking so or not, it does not matter. Once you have come in his name, he will be with us. In all your travels, as you move around the presbytery, I know that the God Almighty who has called you through the power of the Holy Spirit, will be with you always. That is our confidence, that he who has called you will accomplish it. And again, the church's leadership is with you. The church's leadership is with you. The church is one of the Roman was a bishop. So on can't we are brave me that maybe I pray that I'm more than I would brave because we are there. I give them a friend. Every kind of boy, 
Et bien, ok, il y a un bois. C'est que je suis person. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. C'est un peu plus de temps. Je suis 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 un peu plus de Papa, we will back you. I will back you. And I know that the leadership will continue to back you. And I hope you also believe our confidence is that the Lord has prepared you to come this far. The Lord has prepared you. I followed your elections a little bit. Now, many tears with a chairperson. Hey. After first round, second round, let me see what they get ready. Get ready. In case I want to take one thing, political science is not a coin, and I want to take a collation, that's it. Get ready. Is it ready? I'm afraid, well, no. Get ready, and I'll be coming home. We'll see you. We'll see you. For all the background, get ready to have family now. You get it, you say, ready, I'll see you. I mean, as I conclude, the thing is, damn fool. Ubaha. Ebe yede. Papa, uba ha as chair person. Uba yede. So make up your mind to do your best for God. Yen yina bibia yeye bia. Let us make up our minds to do our best for God. To do our best for Jesus. To do our best for our church and our communities. Not everybody will like you, but Jesus likes you. Not everyone will like you, but Jesus likes you. Not everyone will like you, but Jesus likes you. Oh, Baba, do your best. Say, Do your best. You know, say October You see next month more. Next month in the year, thirtieth November. Me we me juma say moderator. But me koswa bompa ya tawechi. Me koswa bompa ya atawechi. Me tunz afre muni na 26 November. No muni na me mumranka. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Musi re. Me fa ka me fa mo na. Ah, you. Now, Mada, a radiasi, a damn in answer us. I won't probably have a tie, Machi, said moderator. Now, you read your man, I'm going to some bumpire, my said, and she said, so a bumpire, Eddie, at time with you. Now, Miss Raza, who money in a say, you did papa a CEO as predatory chairperson. Mon vampire bon tiny chi. Na mon mwan. Na mon mwan. A sofu, mon mwan. Mon mwan. Mwa, mon kon, Prebitri Kansi meeting ya. A hona, hona mon, mon kasa asori, mon brofu asori. Oka brofu a, na kasa, na Prebitri na kone ni mwa. Mwa haye. Mwa haye. Ma haye. Se bibi ni ana sa ube sa chupa pa jenisi bibi swa. Ube jingu kwa kufeni na kudingu. Mwa mosori ya pevo tijo ma hana pesa kuku ni nima sana wechele sa eno wechele sa una woye ayina eno ni ya wapi ji eno kwa mnyanya inu wapi ji po aye children service ye chemo mumwa papa muni na mumwa muni na mumwa no na nifu ya numu nubeshon na prebitui etumpong akone ni. Papa, may the Lord who has called you into this very high office for these five years uphold you. May Yahweh sustain you. May Yahweh guide you in every step of the way. Remember during the orientation, I read a text at the beginning of the orientation and at the end of the orientation during the, uh, during the week. 
And it was from Joshua 3, 4. Where the Israelites were told to keep an eye, or, an eye on the Ark of the Covenant. That they should not go too close to the Ark of the Covenant. And yes, I be able to go be but I will be able to go be the Ark of the Covenant. And the Bible only say, verse 4, not say, for you have not passed this way before. Papa, do consult. But first, consult Jesus more. Then consult others who have gone ahead of you. For you have not passed this way before. I want to repeat what I said at the orientation. A human way, level only a very high power. A very, very, very high. Nipe bu dosu. Nipe accounting on you dosu. Don't let God down. Don't let yourself down. And do not let the church down. For don't let your family down. This is a very high position. Work closely with Jesus. Jesus now is our ark of the covenant, if you like. Let us look up to him, who is the author and finisher of our faith. For you have not walked this way before. May God bless you. May he help you to keep an eye on him. May he help you to walk more closely with him. Sam Foster, for you have not walked this way before. I grew up in Ghana Fellowship of Evangelical Students. And there's a song that we used to sing that says, I wonder, have I done my best for Jesus, who died upon the cruel tree? To think of his great sacrifice on Calvary. And that is to say, if the sum of the song is if you look at what Jesus suffered and did for us, we cannot, we cannot, but do our best for Jesus. For after all, why do we live in this world? You guys say the no more The best legacy you can leave behind is a legacy that brought people to Jesus, that made more disciples, a legacy that helped extend the kingdom of Jesus and His church here, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. May God help you. May he help you. May he help you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The voice of Jesus Christ in who will go and work today fields are white and harvest waiting who will bear the sheaves away
souls of men are dying, the master calls for you. Take the task he gives you gladly. Let his work your pleasure be. Answer quickly when he calls. Here I am. Send me. Send me. If you cannot preach like a Jews, if you cannot preach like a you can tell the love of Jesus. You can say he died for all. If you can. when you have lifted up, us up to higher levels not to waste our time oh yes Lord help us not to waste your time help us not to waste the time of your people but do our best for Jesus who himself died for us. May the resurrection power accompany all of us so that in the various fields that, Lord, we find ourselves, we will not waste our time. So that on the day that you call us home, we'll be bold to stand before the throne. We give you glory, praise, and honor that you will so help us. In your mighty name have we prayed. Amen. Amen. Shall we rise and confess our faith in the Apostles Creed as we say I believe stand and sing President Him 282.
Moderator, I now present the profile of the Reverend Sam Foster Kwaki, who has been elected chairperson of the Century Presbytery of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. The Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi was born on the 22nd August 1961 at Ntod Abuma in the eastern region of Ghana. The Reverend Sam Kwachi received his ministerial training under the special ministerial training program which was held at the Trinity Theological Seminary, Legon, between the year 2004 and 2006. He was commissioned into the Holy Ministry on the 23rd day of July 2006 at the Ebenezer Congregation, Mamprobi, and subsequently ordained on the 8th June 2008 at the Trinity Congregation, Tema Community 4. He served the church for the past 17 years. Sam began his basic education at the Intonaboma Presbyterian Middle School from 1974 to 1978, where he received his middle school living certificate. He continued his education at the Bolgatanga Secondary School from 1979 to 1984, where he obtained the GCE O-Level Certificate. The Reverend Sam Kwachi has, in the course of his service to the church, obtained the following certificates. Certificate in Gender and Religion from the Presbyterian Women's Center, Bokobi. Trainer of Trainees Certificate from the Ramsia Training Center, Betifi. Certificate in Leadership and Church Management from the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Certificate in Mission and Culture from the Akrofi Christella Institute, Ekropong. Certificate in Guidance and Counseling from the Christian Council of Ghana, in Accra. The Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi has served this church in various capacities, including the following. Sub-District Minister, Dodi Papasi, Sub-District. District Minister, Enum District in the Volta Presbytery. District Minister, Mim District, Brong Ahafo Presbytery. Director of Church Life, for Church Life and Nurture, Brong Ahafo Presbytery. District Minister, Abesim District, Brong Ahafo Presbytery. And then District Minister, Sunyani District, Brong Ahafo Presbytery. He has also held various positions in the church, and this includes evangelism coordinator in the Volta Presbytery, Presbytery clerk for the Volta Presbytery, chaplain, Presbytery Choirs Union in the Brong Ahafo Presbytery, Presbytery director for church life and nurture in the Sechere Presbytery, tutor, lay ministerial training program in the Volta and Brong Ahafo as well as the Sechere Presbyteries. And let me say that he has participated in various seminars and workshops, which includes Seminar on Sociocultural Impact on Education, Church and Partnership, held in Stuttgart, Germany. Seminar on Evangelism and Church Extension in Africa, held in Victoria Island, Nigeria. Until his election as chairperson of the Century Presbytery, the Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi served as the district minister of the Mampon Asante Mampon North District in the Century Presbytery. He is married to Mrs. Juliana Asantua Kwachi, a trader, and they have been blessed with two children. He comes to office as the fifth chairperson of this presbytery. Moderator say, standing before us, we have the Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi, at this year's presbytery session of the Sechre Presbytery, he was duly elected as the fifth chairperson. I wish to present him to you so you take him through his vows, pray for him, and to give him a charge. Thank you very much. Prepare him number 263. 263. First two stanzas. As I invite, we, we've, um, 
I'm going to wait, wait. I'm going to invite the I'm going to invite the district ministers and lay reps. If I mention your name, you stand up and go behind it, please. Abasi. of General Assembly. Is Abasi part of the district we have created or and now why can It's still part of it. Where is the lay rep? Where is the district minister? Where is the lay rep? Clerk of General Assembly, you will write a letter for him to explain his absence, please. And the lay rep to thank you. Aguna District. Atebubu District. But your mother was to cost thirty free. Chiroba uh, baby. Atebubu District. You and your lay rep. You are put twenty in a vessel. Atebubu, where is your lay rep? Oh, what the media growth you have? Banco. Wow. Okay, Clark, um, they will need to write to explain, but Uncle also kindly note. Benim. If you guys see. Just see. If you guys see West. Edra I can't mean to be that we are saying by say you've been that to whichever person now we are district minister now I am in TV crowd we are said that Jamasi. Jamasi. Gabby. Kumau. Kwame
Qual mi danno su? Mampon. Mampon South. Mampon South. Mampon North. Mampon North. In Suta. Se c'è due massi. Se c'è due massi. Via Moasi. And Yeji. As we sing Return Hymn 263, I will now invite the chairpersons to join me and the lay reps, please stand behind. Clerk of the Assembly. 263. First two stanzas. representatives of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, and in the name of God Almighty, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to induct the Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi into office as the Presbytery Chairperson of this century Presbytery. We thank God that he ever anew calls men and women to the service of Jesus Christ 
his son our Lord, incarnate, crucified, and risen. He equips them throughout the world for service in his kingdom and to build his church on earth. The Presbyterian Church of Ghana acknowledges the Apostles' Creed as expressing the fundamental doctrines of the Christian faith and the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments as the Word of God and as the decisive rule of faith and practice, containing all things necessary for salvation. Now, Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi, in view of this declaration, I ask you to answer these questions. Do you again affirm your faith in one God who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? And do you confess anew Jesus Christ as your only Savior and Lord? If you do, answer boldly by saying, I do. What read I say, I do. Do you solemnly promise that by the help of God's grace, you will endeavor faithfully to preach the word of God as given us in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments, and that you will accept them as a rule for your own faith and life, and that you will diligently discharge all the duties of a presbytery chairperson in this presbytery in accordance with the vows you made at your ordination. <coughs> if you will answer by saying, I so promise the Lord be my helper. Moderate has said, I so promise the Lord being my helper. Now, the last one. Do you promise to be subject in the Lord to this presbytery and to the General Assembly to seek the unity and peace of this church and to cherish a spirit of fellowship towards all the followers of the Lord? If you will, answer by saying, I so promise the Lord be my helper. What did I say? I so promise the Lord being my helper. Thank you. You will now sign in the chronicle to indicate that you have made the vows. Church choir, lead us to sing the song in Sajijime. This is ministers and GAC members, you may return.
Returning hymn number 310, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. Pilgrim to Jesus. May the chairperson to be inducted. Share
my body and pray with
Oyo no kwafuo wo onwe djuma ndedi o presbytery mu Yesu Christ in tea amen i continue in prayer almighty god father of our lord jesus christ and in him also our father you do govern all things in heaven and on earth and as from the beginning ordained for your church the ministry of reconciliation we thank you O god for your goodness to us this day in giving a presbytery chairperson to this such a presbytery and we beseech you O god to continue your loving kindness to them and to your servants Papa Sam Foster Kwachi, who has now been set over them in holy things. Bless him in full measure with the gifts of your spirit, that he may truly and with demonstration of spirit and power preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So endue him with purity of life, that he may be an example to his flock, and grant that in all things he may faithfully serve you to the glory of your great name. O Lord, the sanctifier of the faithful, visit, we pray you, the districts of this presbytery, with your love and mercy, prepare their hearts to receive your word, nourish them with spiritual blessings, arouse them to works of righteousness and works of love in this community. In your great mercy, keep them always in the unity of the spirit and the bonds of love through Jesus Christ our Lord whom with you and the Holy Spirit we worship and glorify as one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who alone is the king and head of the church, and by the authority vested in me as moderator of the General Assembly, I induct you to the charge of a presbytery chairperson in the Central Presbytery for the next five years. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. He who has called you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Congregation, please be seated. Choir, help us to sing. 410. Planning committee. Uh,
members and adherents of this presbytery, I present to you the Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi as your presbytery chairperson, who has been appointed to the charge of the sexual presbytery as your chairperson. I exhort you to give him due honor and to support him in his work for the Lord. Receive him as a servant of Christ and his gospel and keep praying for him. Offering your means as the Lord shall prosper you for the maintenance of the Christian ministry and the furtherance of the gospel. Reverend Foster Kwachi, may the Lord who has called you protect you and keep you. May your tenure be a blessing, a mighty blessing. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Church choir. And you know, you're about to last verse. Mr. Kopi, Mr. Metinasi. Why? We give you the right hand of fellowship as was done in apostolic times. Welcome, 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 and God bless you. Chairperson for the next five years. We'll be an hour in five years. We'll be out in Quinto Club. It's an say, you may join a couple of us. I'm also in tea. Be Jenna, President of Ghana, General Assembly Council, and name Editor Queen Queen Esha Wonsa. Say Jenna to now Freddy Presbytery. So it's an say, you free Bible, you must have your constitution and manual of order. With the constitution, in the manual of order, and also a man. G. In a Bible, you need constitution, in the manual of order, is for your prebutry, is to mind. Rather than count, when you are major or by no crimcondim. Amen. And now, let me invite the children of the child person of the century presbytery. The children, if they are here. Now let me invite the presbytery 
council members to congratulate the chairperson. Presbytery council members for Setre. Presbytery, please congratulate your new chairperson. Session of the Emmanuel Congregation. Now the immediate family members. Immediate family members. I know you are all related, but please, I just want the immediate family members. to lead the spouses of the child persons to congratulate the couple.
Jamaican. Please come. Here. Thank you very much, Church Choir. The chairperson will now address the congregation. But before then, let us sing to the praise of God the hymn number 646. We sing the first three stanzas. First three stanzas. After which the chairperson will address us briefly. Wana watching Jesus Nani Moja na ye wana coche in kunim di Wahoma wana watching Jesus Nani Moja na ye wana coche Nana Sam no ye Echa Pati Kasi Mawa Nana tum rebu suama uina oh oh mutsu yetu ayi chuma no na ini na ini na ni nyamse no yebetu. Ya 
all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us. And we are his. We are his people. The sheep of his pasture. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. And his courts with praise. And he's called with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. And his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Amen. Amen. The moderator of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. The Right Reverend Professor Joseph Obri Yabuamante. The Clerk of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Reverend Dr. Godwin Ni Noy Odonko, distinguished members of the General Assembly Council of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, ministers and spouses, both within the presbytery and outside the presbytery, ministers of the gospel, catechists. And spouses, presbyters, nananum, special distinguished invited guests, presbyters, media team, all other dignitaries present, friends, and all church members, family members. I wish to first of all express my profound gratitude to God Almighty for counting me worthy to lead this noble presbytery as the chief servant of his flock. I'm so grateful to the moderator of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana and all council members who have traveled from their presbyteries to assist the moderator to induct me into office as the fifth presbytery chairperson of this great presbytery of ours. My hearty appreciation also goes to the delegates of the 20th presbytery session who voted and elected me to this high office. May God Almighty bless you without measure. My election to this position is a mystery. Several people call and ask me, Foster, how did it happen? Till now, I've never had answers to their numerous calls and questions that they ask. All that I say, it is the Lord and His grace. I had doom and I and the grace of God has found me and his hand has lifted me to this position and so once again I'm very thankful to my predecessors the hard working past chairpersons of this presbytery who charted a good path and laying a solid foundation upon which I stand today and to build on. To all ministers and lay members of our dear presbytery, I say God bless you all for your prayers, the love that you have extended to me and my family ever since we came to this presbytery in 2022, September 15th. I'm very grateful to all of you to join me today to thank the Lord for this historic occasion. Thank you very much. Moderator said, permit me to share a few thoughts that I have prayerfully considered and wish that with the support and teamwork of the Presbytery Council members, departmental directors, committees, chairpersons, 
and all ministers and group leaders will dwell so much on during the period of my tenure as following. Number one, under the Department of Human Resource Management, what we say, there shall be capacity building through training. There shall be leadership training programs to equip church workers, leaders to be more effective and efficient in the discharge of their functions. B, to continuously support the catechist training for all caretakers in the presbytery within three years. We want to train all caretakers within the space of three years within the presbytery. C, we will also support ministerial training for selected candidates in the presbytery, targeting a minimum of 15 students for the next five years. D, that presbyters and group leaders will be empowered. And so there will be empowerment training for group leaders in the presbytery. We shall also draw a comprehensive scholarship scheme to promote scholarship demands of the presbytery. What Rita say? Church life and nature. It has been observed that Several music masters within the church. When you come to such a presbytery, we have a minimal number. And so what we'll be doing in the next years is that we shall establish a music training school to train all choir masters, organists, and even church members who desire to learn the rudiments of music. Moderita said, it will interest you to know that in our churches, the music masters that we have, the choir masters that we have, several of them are from the SDA church that the church had contracted. And they are the very people that we have in our churches. And the church spent huge sums of money to pay them when they come to train our people, especially the church choir and the singing band, and they take a fee at the end of every month. So this training will be on a yearly basis, and diploma certificates will be awarded by the University College of Education, Winneba, after 12 weeks training. Plans are far advanced, and it shall take off, hopefully, February 2024. What Rita said, we shall intensify counseling and coaching and also form teams to meet the needs of congregants. Again, the presbytery shall ensure the formation of children and junior youth Bible clubs. The presbytery groups will also be empowered to mobilize programs that will attract members and make them active in the groups and also in the church. What Rita said, development and social services, the presbytery will empower the district and congregations to venture into viable income generating projects to improve their financial status. These projects could either be coconut plantation or cashew on the predatory and congregations acquired land at Atebubu and Abase, among others. Entrepreneurial skills training for the youths who have completed senior and tertiary institutions and have not been gainfully employed to sustain them financially. C, the cashew plantation at Atebubu will be properly maintained and cultivated some of the vast land in coconut and perennial cash crops. The presbytery will seek technical advice from the national director for DSS to revamp the presbytery's production of salem water as early as possible. Ecumenical and social relations. Moderator said, 
the prebytery shall promote peace coexistence with people of other faith. We shall also strengthen the mission to the palace to pray and to have brief services with the traditional rulers to feel the church's relevance in the communities. Morita said, there shall be exchange programs with the groups, by the groups, sorry, with sister presbyteries to share and to also support. Reverend Moderita, the presbytery will press on the districts to improve on PCG schools, schools in the presbytery and make them a preferred institution in the communities where they are situated. And so under the Department of Education, this is one thing that the presbytery will seek to do. We shall also strengthen church and schools relationship as strategic educational machinery to facilitate growth and development by regularly visiting the institutions, the ministers and the church leaders will constantly be visiting the institutions. We shall also design a comprehensive scholarship scheme for brilliant but needy students in both the second cycle and tertiary institutions. Under the Department of Finance, people of God, the department will develop a prudent means of generating funds for effective running of the presbytery programs rather than solely depending on the 15% income from the districts. Infrastructure development. Moderator say, the presbytery story, two-story office complex which has been roofed quite recently, shall steadily progress. The finance and project and investment committees will develop a program or a roadmap for the completion of this magnificent office in phases until it is fully completed in the year 2025. Sorry, in five years' time, during our 25th anniversary. Again, we shall also ensure the construction of the clinic at Abesua to provide health needs within the catchment areas. This project is still ongoing, Moderator said. With the support of the General Assembly Office, the building at Abesua has been roofed this year. So far, we have spent 273,973 Ghana cities. Almost 300,000 Ghana cities has been spent so far. Moderator, the project has been halted for a while until funds are available for plastering and other works. Papa Moderator, since the PCG is the third highest provider of health, Okay, I humbly request that your administration, before you leave office, will continue to support this noble project to serve the people in and around Abessia, bringing Presbyterian presence in the Central Presbytery. And I'm also passionately appealing to philanthropists and citizens from the Presbytery, both home and abroad, to come and support this noble project. Construction of Aguna SHTS Sigbay. This project will soon be completed before the close of this year and handed over to the school to provide health care for the students and staff of the institution. God being our helper. Moderator sir. Under mission and evangelism. We shall be strengthening the prayer ministry of the presbytery for spiritual renewal and upliftment. 
We will also promote vigorous evangelism through soul winning, discipleship, and effective church planting to sustain the 10% annual growth and even improve upon it. According to Hossein Taylor, he says evangelism is not an option to be considered, but a command to obey. Again, Oswald Smith also has this to say. In a church that is not seriously involved in fulfilling the Great Commission has forfeited its biblical right to exist. And so on that note, I am therefore calling on all ministers, all catechists, all church leaders, and all church members to be actively involved in soul winning programs, which is our core mandate. And I'm calling on all of you, especially the groups also, to have a program on your conferences or in your conferences to ensure that you win souls for Christ and you shall also report same during the evangelism consultation in the presbytery meetings. Campus ministry. Moderator said, the presbytery will resource the noobs gene and youth coordinators to regularly visit the various campuses to engage the Presbyterian students in spiritual activities to retain them in the church after school. The presbytery through the district shall also support the P-size programs so that more students will participate in this program. Moderator said, the presbytery shall earmark one district every year for evangelistic emergency. This will enable the entire presbytery concentrate efforts in the district to improve weaker districts. By this, what Rita said, the presbytery will acquire her own PA system for evangelistic activities. The evangelism van, which has been broken down for some time now, when repaired, will also support rural evangelism. It is my prayer that the entire presbytery, we shall come together, we shall be united. When you read from Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 to 9, Haven't come together with one mind. Haven't come together with one heart. Prepare to serve. Unyame and Osuru Nina Huno say Nianipanaya no crop Nianipando Makuma Bumu said Obeyano. Bribian to me, Siwamokwai, because they were united. It is my humble prayer that all ministers, that all church members, that all committees in the presbytery, let us unite, let us come together, let us come and build the Setre Presbytery. So that in the nearest future, Presbytery, a year Presbytery, and ministers would laugh and yearn to come and to work. On that note, Papa Moderator, I want to say, I, the Reverend Sam Foster Kwache, the fifth Presbytery chairperson of this noble Presbytery of ours. I say, I shall diligently serve the Lord, serve this presbytery, and serve the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. I do take this responsibility as the chairperson of this presbytery, God being my helper. Amen. 
Alpha ni Omega. Asasye ni enwye ye nyame. Unim adi nyina. Na uye adi nyina. Di meni. Ne di mechi. Na makoto. Eso she mu. Alpha ni Omega. Asasye ni enwye ye nyame. So me sa na chire mi kwa di me me mi me di me si na ma koto so she mu wumi mi ya kopo. We want to enter into a period of intercessory prayer. But I plead with you that you rise up as we sing together from the Presbyterian hymn 328. We sing only the first stanza. Presbyterian hymn 328. We sing only the first stanza. Eradi, my enfa, yidi, any ferry, emo, umpalye. Yeah, yeah, and so, any dot here, dear. Nan so, un si, and quan. We rise and sing only the first stanza. As we continue in prayer, we will pray on about four or five items. The first one, I want us to pray for all ministers of our church, all ministers of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana. Presby the third verse, and I say, I am sure any humo bro, and I, yes, or they, a yen, a yen, a yen, yen, sir, rather say, a soft way, so, yeah, the I am sure any humo bro, sir, a better, when you may, a yen, or the assurance. Let us pray that the Lord will 
and thou art with mercy and compassion and love as we shepherd the flock that the Lord has given unto us. Let us pray. I suffer. I suffer. I suffer. I suffer. I suffer. Let us pray that the Lord will help us that we will take care of this flock with compassion, with love, with mercy. Let us continue to pray for our church, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, that we will remain focused in the direction and the ministry that the Lord has given to the church. Sorry, Maybe a radi pass a yako, a sorry to me, baby, a dear near chira, a pass a yako, yet the enemy her own air, her radi, no dear and kind, now or so much more, dear my own age, me aye. That we will not take on so many things that will cause us to deviate from the ministry which the Lord has given unto us. Then, sir, radi no more. The room may be an hour, sorry, no, yeah, money up, African home. When you're more and I am chanting, or no, our fray, you know. Na a sorry, a sorry, a juma radi da ma yano. Yeti mi ayi niye ashe ni diyan yuyam. Yamon pa. Praise be asafu. Yame mwa ya. Sorry, or how be brave. There are so many challenges. May the Lord help us. Let us pray for Ghana and the world that the world will seek the way, the truth, and the life, which is Jesus Christ. We will seek Him. Praise be him 320. Second verse, let's say, Same dime for baby, me home and you meda. Now, if I turn anywhere, I will not find peace. If the world turns anywhere, not until we turn unto him, not until we seek him, we will not find peace. Yes, sir, right. In a we are seeing, you know, you hear that we will seek the Lord. Ghana, we will look unto Him. We will look unto the Lord. Yeah, money and fra a crown home. Never hear on Christo. My Ghana, any we are seeing. The Montpellier, the Montpellier. Sir, right. In one way, on my way, I have done your boot to know. The man needs to be over here, Christo. Now, open G. Those in authority, the president of the land, and then the moderator and the leadership of our church, presbytery chairpersons, clerks, decisions are almost taking no, and no, I drive us sorry no. Let's pray that the Lord will give these leaders wisdom, godly wisdom, that they will lead and lead well. They will lead in the fear of the Lord. The president, and in our church, the moderator, the clerk, the chairpersons, the predatory clerks, district ministers, all those in authority, may the Lord help us lead and lead well and lead with godly wisdom. Rademwaya, Rademwaya. Again, we are encouraged to pray for the poor, pray for the afflicted, pray for those in prison, pray for those who are in need. Yamon paye ma wawa, sabi o ahunche, si kasema ya diya ma wawa, wawa awo empo chile mu, wawa anidaso e yasa, wawa ya tuwa chile. Le mon paye ma wawa nina, 
Se o nyame kai wono wo hu o mobo. Wani da so ni awrade. O tu hu a awrade nyi won so na awrade adom enye kase ma wo. Me ne wo di adom ntie wo fa ho die ya te ha. Anuanom bi e won pukire mu. O nyame enhu ye nyina mobo. Afe ebre mu mpesa wo bompa ye mo wo wa free mu ebre kakra ni bia na ogusu ani bia free mu ana adofo asofo wo e free mu nyina awrade aba free wo nko won chen no ye na awrade ase ne yensere se awrade nkra wo ma ye kosi se yenso ye mbre so a awrade e be free let's pray for the faithful departed friends loved ones and relations ministers in this presbytery and elsewhere who have been called by the lord let's pray and thank god and pray that we will also order our lives such that we will live for him and that when our time come we will also be called unto the lord now let us unite our hearts in prayer o lord who has founded your church upon earth and has promised to abide with it forever enlighten and sanctify it we beseech you by your holy spirit lord we pray for all ministers of your word and sacrament that you would increase in them your grace that with joy and assurance they may guard and keep your sheep looking to the great shepherd and bishop of the souls we pray for the presbyterian church of ghana that you would surround the church with your grace and grant that with one heart and with one one mind they may strive together for the faith of the gospel we pray for the coming of your kingdom in the entire world that you would hasten the time when in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is lord we pray for all in authority especially for our president and his ministers and councillors and for all the people of our land that you would exalt Ghana in righteousness and guide the nations in the ways of peace we pray for the afflicted for those who are lonely and sad for those in sickness and sorrow and for all whom we name in our hearts that you would lift up the fallen and strengthen the weak and comfort them that born through Jesus Christ our lord we bless your name o lord for servants your servants who have departed from this world and have done so in faith we pray o lord for those who have served you in this place this presbytery and the loved ones and friends and for all those who are dear to us and who are now with you and we beseech you that you would keep us united with them in the glory of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our lord to whom with you and the holy spirit we ascribe glory and honor thanksgiving and power world without end amen thank you hands up Sengema will lead us to take the first offering. Sengema will lead us. Yeah, first offering. Yeah, this is for the church. Yeah. The first offering is for the church. The second one will be for our presbytery church person. As uh,
Ongo koni faso, ongo na mubeyi na petro, mungwa saulu. Ongo koni faso, ongo na mubeyi na.
On behalf of Sister Presbytery, I want to thank you and the entire General Assembly Council members for inducting our chairperson who was inducted by the Presbytery at the last Presbytery session into office. We are ready to work with him I mean, all ministers, all catechists, all groups, and the entire congregants. Papa moderator said, I want to assure you that Reverend Sam Foster, Kwache, and the entire family are in the safe hands. We accept him and all his family to lead us to the promised land. As the lay representative of such a presbytery on General Assembly Council, I pledge to support him in his ministry and his calling. May God be my helper. Thank you.
Papa was over Casa and the crack rabber. Watch and finance director. But on behalf of the General Assembly Council, I present this envelope to Mama and Papa Foster. I don't want to say with you. Didn't I make Mama first? Papa Chairperson, on behalf of the Central Presbytery, I present to you this envelope. Beloved in the Lord, if you have any envelope with you, there's a table at the back. If you have any envelope with you, there's a table at the back. Just take it there. Say, oh, envelope, oh, home. Now, Papa Foster. Oh, don't you now buy it? Now, what? She did, yeah. Fako, you see, Pono, a chile home. Now, Fako, ma, wong. We'll take the second offering for our child person. Yebeje afore tosumi enu no eno de e de eboa ye ncha person jumadie Sengeman mo sa ade animu amaye Praise the team Sengeman for mo nyuma ho me kakra praise the team
mama phone no Presbyterian hymn number 521. Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the bondage of sin and called us into your service and given us the hope of eternal life. We give you heartly thanks for all your goodness towards us and all men and women. 
in particularly. We give you thanks for your mercy shown to our brother, your servant, Reverend Sam Foster Kwachi, for being inducted into office by the chief servant of this your church. We bring you our gifts. Enable us with our heavenly things to give you the love of our hearts and the service of our lives through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 gradually coming to the end of the service. And we have a few items to go through. Let me introduce, look, before the introduction, please listen to the following announcements. This is the first of three inductions, chairperson's inductions for this year. And the next induction service will be on the 29th of October and it will take place at the Asante Presbytery, Kumase to be precise. Kumase to be precise. Thank you very much. Then after that, on the 5th of November, we move to Chebi for the induction of the Chimabuakwa Presbytery chairperson. Yes. Chebi on the 5th of November. But listen carefully. The moderator made mention of a send-off. I want to formally inform you that on the 26th of November, Sunday, 26th November, the moderator and the wife will be seen off by the church at the Victory Congregation, Fafraha, in the Gan Presbytery. We're inviting every member in every congregation, every church, every district to be present. Then on the first, Friday, the first of December, that will be the handing over from the outgoing moderator to the incoming moderator. So first December, there will be the handing over ceremony to take place at the Ebenezer Congregation, Usu. Then there is the induction of the new moderator, which will take place on the Sunday, the 3rd of December. And the venue will be the Ebenezer Congregation, Usu. Please direct this and keep them and pray for these uh, events. Permit me to introduce some significant persons who are here with us. The Right Reverend Professor Joseph Ubri Yebu Amante, who preached the sermon is the moderator of the church. And Mama Florence, Mrs. Mante, is here with us. Then we have the Reverend Dr. Abraham Nana Opari Kwachi, who is the Grand Presbytery chairperson and the moderator elect. <laughs> Mrs. Kwachi, Mrs. Kwachi is here. Yes, Ben. Reverend Abraham Jaba Okain is the Dangbetongu Presbytery chairperson. And Mrs. Okain, if you are here. Reverend David Abuaji Dankwa Asante Achim, Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Abuaji Dankwa, okay. Reverend Benjamin Apia, Bronga Hafo Presbytery. If Mrs. Apia is here, thank you very much. Reverend Simon Kofi Yebua, Northern Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Yebua, please. Thank you very much. Reverend Fifi Fo Akes, Central Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Akes, if you are here. Thank you very much. Reverend Raymond Ba Abeka, West Achim Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Abeka, if you are here. Okay. Reverend Enoch Kofi Obobi, the Kwau Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Obobi, thank you very much for coming. Reverend Frank Ogwasi Edu, Volta Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Edu. This one is Awam. <laughs> Reverend Ebenezer Champon Asiedu, a Kwapin Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Asiedu, if you are here. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Reverend Samuel Ahima Yeboah, Asante Presbytery Chairperson. This is Ahima Yeboah. Yes, thank you very much for coming. Reverend Professor Seth Asari Danso, Achima Bwakwa Chairperson. This is Asari Danso, is here. Reverend Daniel Bosia Jinatri, West Brong Chairperson. Mrs. Jinatri, please. Reverend Dr. Joseph Apia Asamwa, Western Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Asamwa, if you are here, thank you very much. Reverend Seth Tete Udonko, Asante South Chairperson. Mrs. Udonko, if you are here, thank you. Then we also have lay representatives from the various presbyteries to the, who serve on the General Assembly Council. Catechist Moses Ba. Reverend Enoch Ajay Pobi, Gan West Presbytery Chairperson. Mrs. Pobi, please. Catechist Moses Ba Osiakwan, Sechere Presbytery Lay Rep. Mrs. Emma Asiedu Dako, Achim Abuakwa Presbytery Lay Rep. Mrs. Comfort Osebuachi, West Achim Presbytery Lay Rep. Mr. Michael Buachi Buatin, Western Presbytery Lay Rep. Mrs. Nancy Apia. Mrs. Nancy Arthur. Brong Arthur Presbytery. Mr. Ishmael Akumante, Asante Achim, Presbytery. <laughs> Mrs. Stella Sewa Ingiza, Kwau Presbytery, Lay Rep. <laughs> Mrs. Betty Asari Entridia, Asante Presbytery, Lay Rep. <laughs> Mr. Akori Ajiman, Asante South, Pre Presbytery, Lay Rep. <laughs> Let, Let me say we have three Presbytery clerks. Seth Ousu Quarantine, Sechere Presbytery, the service leader. The Reverend Charles Kosi Yebua, Bronga Hafo Presbytery Clerk. <laughs> Reverend Samuel Edu Janfi, Asante Presbytery Clerk. <laughs> we are also blessed with the presence of two past chairpersons, Reverend Dr. Anoche Nkansa, <laughs> Kumase District, in Asante Presbytery, Reverend Kwajo Osu Sapon. My name is the Reverend Godwin Nino Yodonko, the clerk of the General Assembly. We will now. Do you have any? That's all, you don't have any. Okay, there is a missing key here. Please, the owner of this key should meet with the Presbytery clerk for Setre to collect it. We have a Thanksgiving service, a brief Thanksgiving service, and we'll invite the minister in charge to come and take the Thanksgiving service. Eba mocha o yeri ye na se sumama Rexford o se ya o jenfi ena Sarah. Amufa. President him five five five. You want to make sure. Near to say, being now war a benim, one bed dancing, mumra, radium, mumra.
Pacha umumra inimu. Abie sano utu mipung Ibam tu asa pon entrance. Yenim se, se wanya bru yang asa si sunta madangia. Ibenya ufia efi yang kropong. Odana one fansa NC. Ah, ewohoda osoro. Amen. Ebompai. Rani yang kupa wote asina mabrunguja. Wode. Wote ni ya wote da na wana tu inchada. Yende yana na tese nra da ichem na yenye shi wawenim. Kesi ya moja, Rebecca yenu yani ya dofunum, Rashford osei ya ujenfi, ane sara amufa. A wufi wunyansa imu eni yushabi emu. Afre wonga ba wuncheng no. Eda wasese wode ushesie. Eni wadoy. Tata wonga namong da. Wona wuma yeng kwa. Na bra wuni mse yeno. Uje yeng usem. Esra wose. Sisi yeng kuma. Na yemra yeng wase emma wunshi se yinyi na. Empire ya kwanga udi enfasu ni naso, aye tumi ya kanda se uradi demai, na uradi afa, na uradi tini, ena inshiranka, amra biya amra biara yeshiri adofu biya itese, uradi yangu pongo kwa uradi ya wodi uwu sunkunim, au ni yamu bwa fomu tichi yenyere, yangu bure hui mu. Chiche ufuye ebu siyayi. Eni adofu nina avire. Pa udumu buwaye. Na uwebre hui mumpo ya tumia soro. Nyankrupo nti asifu. De uhu atu wado eni mubruhu nso. Yenge vladi Yesu Kristu nti. Amen. Resira njum. Yedi vye. Five five one. Yes, uncheng na metra da. Abiyeng pe ni di kang the first and second stanza.
Ina na wajami yesi uwa wadu umeda Dungu ni pabibri uumu Mamia midingia Jangan awak simak kakrebi, ya kai wong ni ada nyamia se, so ada wong emaye. Jadi yang aku pengas se, Redford osai ya ojenfi, ena Sarah amufa, se wadu wong mai, yang aku pengas wong mai, nu wong hubam faso. Wafre wum nene ye danase e kai wum. Radimfa wum isi e mkwe si da wabe fre ni penye na e wanahye ngwane ni mu. Na miye jawa ba e na wong kronk kron e di mu. Amen. Bamcho ye damase mutrasa. Asundi yinkamu. Bacho yinti imano safunu munka yibona ye nshene nson. Mejina ye district minister Reven Kofi inti moduo wusu anemu ama ye nina ye hon akwa aba. Ye children service graduation nabe basu ye na otrise ende inti ye nshene nson. Awari yinka yibo ye ye bra Gabriel Odehi a osum ewo Kenya se asante au yeba sioni one katkis mevis akambarin ajembek a onusu esumo bunusu kama mwa bomse kuno ene oyere timi so wa oni bibi efa wari hundi nti a yangu se mukamu mwa bomu no ube huu ya dusi minister na wode huu amani ako weni tetema yeye announcementi. Our young Baba, so women in the idea in a year on the 14th of October 2023, our Emmanuel congregation. But your Papa Gabriel, any maybe so her, but your Mombana and for Montreal as a phone. Ya Papa Gabriel, Odehi, Ene, Yema Ame, Mavis, Ajambek. Awa ya nabe baso, Mimini Ndeyi, Ewa Yimano Congregation. Ti yanka, Omo, Ewa, Mpai Bo. Amen. Pacho, Mantina Simaye. Aseda, Afodye. Ya Safi, Bebe, Ape, Se, Ebe, Boni, Din, Ewa, Rade, Ase, Tete, Gana, Sidis. Busumi miyani seni ena okoye operation Ose nyami koso mbone hombayi Ya Mr. and Mrs. Eje inti ya mwa Sude radiasi 150 Ghana cities Omase dani se Afimu eni ena omuka mwumse Kunu eni oyere Omase nyami enka awariene hon Ya ya papa nana ya buwa Isi ya mwa Sude radiasi 100 Ghana cities Ya papa se nyami di Afiba ko aka nifi ya hon a year the late Rashford or said Jim Fee, a Bushia, so they radiasi two hundred Ghana cities. A year Bushia, say a Yenra, and a Kokra, a Papa Rashford. I'm saying, I mean, cause one teacher more now, Kabusan in boom, and free at Dumo, and co at Dumo. A year Ray Dubreto, a Bushia, a woman pon, so they radiasi two hundred Ghana cities. Master Danis and Dra, and I Kokra, and Mamma Sarah. 
I'm saying, I mean, also, and can't be so no more on the cheap, so anyway. Now, on Bobus, I know by if you are domo and call a domo. When you might not as a phone and kaibo, yeah, my name won't cast say, mind that you who are say. Paper mature a bomb pie, I'm a one over that, say no. Yes, Rebbe, I want to ask for a general. On a quaff for anywhere, Raddy, a cost so I that was here, you are here come fooding. There be a dan, a dear way, a baby, and a way I'm out, may in Tina, or free a comma pen better was a strong co. Empire born a sage was said as a baby, I came away, or so I am a war, a radi to a new trail, and I am a one, yet I was say, and crowd of four, and I jump up by a suit, would be Amen. Papa Che Mijraha Ewo Adofua Ewo Demenina Asorema Nafonum Ofre Chichini Benche Eba Enina Se Ene Deya Edua Juma E Shawinsa Kra Krai We Ede Ede E Sopoto Onibo Bishina Unyamiaja Oba, no one can call him. Amen. We will stand to sing Presiding Him 503. 503. Brigade, come in as. The hymn is being sung. Brigade come for the colors as the hymn is being sung.
let me, on behalf of the General Assembly, thank the Secretary President for all the logistics and other arrangements that we have made to make today's ceremony a blessed one. And to also thank the Mampon District and Emmanuel Congregation to be specific. Um, I see all your decorations and the colors. Hmm. Very nice colors. Are you my casa mon casa? Mama yensre erade ho adum enishra. Erade ebo ampa eri ya mushe wansa. Sana wa kia yesi mimi erade wani mimi yangu. Erade yako yenyi maswa shia shuma yenyi. Erade yedi feni yefi yebeni na shia wansa. I am boy who buy pa. The boy if you phone in an answer who buy. Your ta, your cotton I am a yanto. Rather you call your phone more. I yes, this lay. Do me in. Never yes, so. Yea, yea, woman. Let's see our suffer. Have you a doffo name in your name? You are on shramona on shamoso. You are on tin and on shramona on no more. As a radio man and so yen in Iso. No man did ask him be one young compound or yea, a jack or bar and young crunk demo. Amen.
The choir says it's with PH311. PH311. I'm to council member GSC. Member say you know call Munya Papa Chef or Chapers in Mission House. Yes, Remo. Yeah. 